Welcome to Small Lab, an embodied learning experience. Today we're going to talk about light and mirrors. In this scenario, which builds on light waves, which you've hopefully done with your students already, they will learn uh, how light interacts with mirrors. And specifically, they'll learn that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. So light and mirrors has six important components that you should walk your students through in the beginning before they start to play. Over here in this corner, there's the add a mirror symbol. And so you could add multiple mirrors to the scenario. The way mirrors work is that you have to be collaborative with another student. And so both students will have to um, bend down and put the wand at a certain level in order to grab one handle. I would grab a handle, and then the other student would grab another handle, and we could move that mirror around. Over here, we have the laser generator. So this sends out the, the rays that are going to bounce off the mirrors. In order to hit the target, here's uh, one target, but we also have uh, an add target symbol, so you can put more targets in the space. And finally, down here, we have the add wall symbol. And with this, you can put in walls or obstructions to the laser. So in this scenario, um, it takes three active wands at a time. And um, Mina, I, will play the role of student. Caroline will be the other student. And all that we can do is move the mirror around. Uh, the teacher over here, played by Chris, has a special wand that can add components. And um, also, uh, he controls the clicker, which can pause, advance, or reset. OK, so to begin play, Caroline and I are going to pick this mirror up. Um, I've now activated this handle because it's changed color. And we can move it. And we have to move together, or it won't go. So now we have to dialogue also to figure out how we're going to make this laser light bend in order to hit the target. She's telling me to go down this way, and look what happens to the ray. Yay! We want to make it spot on bullseye, so now we're going to move it a little more, and then it's good if one person stays stable and the other one moves down and up. Now we're going to add more mirrors to the game. So Chris, with the teacher wand, will add three mirrors. And then Caroline and I will grab them and sort of think through how to set this up. Not a... There we go. All right, let's grab the next one. Oh, you made us another one. Ah. Do you like that? Yeah. OK. And we'll grab our third mirror. Sparklers all around. So in this level of the light and mirrors game, we're going to show you how to add walls. So um, the teacher has already added more mirrors. And now, Chris, the teacher is going to add some walls strategically. And then Caroline and I will figure out how to make our light waves, our uh, rays, bounce past the walls to get to the target. Targets can also be moved in different places. So there we go. There's yeah. that. A more oh, look at that. Oh, it's just a barely kissing it in there, huh? Yay, three mirrors. Your students should have lots of fun with light and mirrors. And um, it's possible to get three students in the space. So one student can hold the teacher wand. It doesn't have to be the adult teacher doing it. Another thing that you can uh, play around with is moving the uh, is adding more targets into the space and moving them around to different places. So is this really the So this target could be moved over here or far away over here. So there's many variations you can set up. 